Another question to cover if we're talking about what to test and what to spend time on is should we test something that is covered by external packages? For example, you use a package spicy Laravel tags to have tags in your eloquent models and should you write test that the tag is inserted successfully if you insert that by calling the function from that package? So for example, somewhere in your code you have attach tag and should you test, assert that the tag is successfully inserted into the database. And that is a debatable question, but most of the serious package creators include tests in their packages. So users of the package would not need to test that or retest that manually externally. So for example, if we go to tests folder of that package, there are quite a lot of tests asserting that if you add a tag, for example, it can create a tag, for example, assert count, assert same, a lot of assertions, for example, tag find or create. So a lot of internal unit parts are covered by the package. So what you can test is, for example, in your controller, you add a tag and then you can test if that controller result redirects where it needs to redirect, basically testing your feature of your application. And the package functionality part is covered with tests already within the package. And that is, by the way, another thing, how to decide whether to use package or not, whether it's serious or not, is it covered by the tests? So you can take a look at test folder and see how many tests are there present. And even Laravel framework itself, actually, if you think about it, Laravel framework is a package because we're doing composer create project Laravel Laravel or use Laravel installer or sale or something like that, which installs Laravel framework into our PHP system from composer. So should we test something like internal models of Laravel? Should we test that some model, eloquent model is successfully created or something? Probably not because the framework itself has again tests with huge amount of tests. You can browse around if you are interested in them but for example, test database has even from the file names, eloquent belongs to many, eloquent this, eloquent that. So all the eloquent functionality is covered with huge amount of tests. So you probably don't need to test those internal parts. And again, test the features of your personal application. And this is where we get back to the analogy of building a bridge or another similar analogy could be Lego. For example, you're building a Lego house, Lego structure, and those units, the bricks, are those eloquent features, eloquent models, which are covered by tests in the framework itself. So Lego factory, provide the bricks for you, test it that they are stable enough. And your application is a thing that you're building with Lego. So you need to have a feature test that your structure is stable. So you shouldn't focus on the bricks, you should focus on what you're building with that bricks. And that should be in your feature tests. If you build your own brick structure that would be reusable by others, for example, for example, you built a special window from Legos, which would be in various parts of the house. So whether that window is stable, there's another unit test because window becomes a unit a separate thing installable in other parts of the application of the house. But generally, that's the reason why Laravel docs emphasize that feature tests should be the majority of what you write and answering the concerns that I don't have much time to write tests. You don't need to have too much time. You need to have time, find time for the most crucial parts would be feature tests. Again, I've talked about that in the previous video and getting back to the topic of this video, the packages are often and mostly covered by tests if they are serious package creators and you shouldn't cover that twice.